Hi, so today I wanted to give you a very effortless, super affordable fall makeup tutorial. Everything is drugstore. Uh, I hit up the drugstore and picked up some new, some new products so it's not like the huge. Yeah, we're just gonna get started. I want this to be effortless. I want this to be like pretty easy, like a nice go-to pretty fall makeup look. So when it comes to primer, I feel like most of you already know moisturizer. That's my, that's my primer. Moisturizer, sunscreen, that's my primer. Uh, so I'm gonna go straight in with my makeup. I'm going to start by color correcting with my LA Girl Pro Conceal Color Corrector. This is actually the concealer in light ivory, but it's very peach. But I really need this right now because my under eye circles are crazy. Obviously, if you don't have um, dark under eyes, then you can just get, skip this step, go straight into foundation and concealer. For foundation, I'm trying something new. This is from Ribble. R what? R Rimmel. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. Rimmel. Uh, this is the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Hydration Boost Full Coverage Foundation SPF 20. Uh, this is in the shade 103 True Ivory. Due to ivory and beige, like I can't with these makeup brands. But it looked like a pretty good match to me. So I'm gonna go in with one pump to start. And I uh, tried to find the, I tried to pick up the um, e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. I think that's what it's called. It's very similar to this. This one's from Kosas, but I would suggest that one. Just allows for a lot of precision. So I prefer a damp sponge. I'm just gonna work this all into my face. Me personally, fall and winter months. You know, I like a satin finish, I guess. I don't like to go full on matte. And because I live in LA, it's a desert, it's already very dry. I like to use something in the winter time that's gonna give me more hydration. And this is just a bonus that it's got SPF 20. Still wearing sunscreen, but you know, makes me feel like I'm doing the most. It's a nice foundation. It does have fragrance though, which is like kind of annoying. For a second, I was like, where is that coming from? I mean, it smells nice, but it's just very unnecessary. So use any drugstore foundation that you enjoy. Maybelline Fit Me, great. Revlon Colorstay, great. I believe they both have like a more matte and a more hydrating version. For my concealer, tried and true. Okay, also the dark circles are popping. L'Oreal Infallible. It's so good. This is uh, in the shade Ivory. Just kind of like dotting it around my face and immediately blending. So I don't want it to sit for too long because it is a relatively full coverage concealer. The longer you make it sit, the more full coverage it'll be. Plus I want to do this quick. I don't want to have to like wait for anything. You know what I mean? Just a little bit in the areas where I want to brighten or anywhere that I need a little bit more coverage. It is slightly light, slightly lighter than my foundation, um, but not by too much. On the inner and outer part of my eye. So I'm gonna start with the outer, taking that right there, because I do have quite a bit of darkness there right now, blending a little bit down onto the cheekbone and a little bit up, blending that right on top of that color corrector See, but you're making gross noises. I don't know why after they eat lunch, they have to like come in here and like lick themselves. <laughs> God, that's such a good concealer, man. <sighs> so good. Actually works really nicely with that foundation too. All right, I need structure. I need structure and warmth for my face. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna contour with my Fair Wonder Stick by NYX. And I'm actually gonna use this pretty much all over my face. I'm gonna draw the whole thing out which I don't typically, well, yeah, I guess I do actually kind of do that. <laughs> what am I talking about? By the way, this is my new contour technique and it's changed my life. Let me know if you want to see a video on that. Like the difference, because it makes, it makes a huge difference. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to use all drugstore brushes. I'm gonna blend that out with my e.l.f. putty brush. Oh, this is the putty blush brush. Gotta be careful around the hers if you're platinum like me. So I'm blending willy-nilly here. You can see I'm doing a lot of this motion, a lot of buffing and blending. Um, I do have some spot concealing to do and we will do that closer to the end once I have all my face products on. 
Now the cat's in the litter box. Every single time. Never fails. Never fails. Um, okay, wet and wild brush. I believe this was a set. So I'll try to link the set down below. It's a bunch of like face brushes and eyeshadow brushes. Look like a little who. All right, and then I'm gonna go over and set and also add a little bit more warmth with the Maybelline City Bronzer. This is in uh, 200. This is a bronze and contour powder. I don't know, just to give shape to the face. It's a nice bronzer shade for me though. And I'm gonna apply that with this. I actually don't know how to say this. It's the Kai brush. I don't know, I was at Walgreens and I came across this brand. It's the Angled Blush Brush. I thought I would give them a shot. I'm just gonna lightly dust this in the areas where I want a bit more warmth to kind of like help to set that, co what is that sound? <laughs> that contour. So on my forehead and then adding a little bit more warmth to the cheeks. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and spot conceal. I'm gonna place a little bit of that L'Oreal concealer on the back of my hand, just a teeny bit, and a little bit of the contour color from NYX. I'm gonna mix those to create my custom concealer. Just pat that in the areas where I need to spot conceal. All right, and then using my e.l.f. blush brush and the powder blush palette, this is the Blush and Glow uh, Light something? Light? I don't know, it's this guy. This is such a pretty palette. I don't know even which one I want to use. I think I want to use this color right here, but they're all really, really pretty. I might just tap into all of them. I don't know, I feel like that's a good idea. <laughs> they look like they don't mix really well. I'm just gonna pat this on my cheeks. Literally just tapping into all of the colors, mixing them, because <laughs> I like all of them and I feel like that will create a really pretty fall color. That totally matches my background. So I'm focusing it like here on the cheek, up under the eye, kind of like slowly patting it out. Yeah, try just mixing all of your blushes together sometime. Gorge. Uh, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the e.l.f. eye primer. This is in the shade Sheer. I thought they discontinued this, but then I found it at Walgreens and I'm so happy because this is actually one of my favorite eye primers. Before I start my eyeshadow, I'm just going to set underneath my eyes just a teeny little bit. I don't really need that much with the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. Okay, remember we're trying effortless here. We want it to be as easy as possible. So reusing products is gonna be really important. So I wanna go back in with my bronzer on this big fluffy brush from Wet n Wild. And I'm gonna use this as my transition shade in my crease. I'm taking that right up to the inner part of my brow and then bringing it down. So going just above where my eye naturally creases and then just kind of buffing out. You could also do this with your blush. Depends on like what tone you want. Then using another Wet n Wild brush, I'm just gonna take that and run that the very bottom of my lower lash line. So kind of like where you see that crease happens. It's like my transition shade for my lower lash line essentially. <laughs> All right, another Wet n' Wild brush. And uh, for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using this little Wet n' Wild palette, which I got it right in. Dude, when I went to the, the drugstore, the tomfoolery, is that a phrase? I don't even really know what that means. Um, the ridiculousness that was going on there. I have to actually share this with you. This is insane. This was All May. I checked out All May. You see that? Can you see those? These are all eyeshadow palettes, they all have the, ex like essentially the exact same colors. Like what the fuck is that? I thought that was an empty palette. No, those are white shimmery shadows. All four of them are white shimmery shadows. I was like, oh man, what are you doing? <laughs> Who's buying that? It's ridiculous. And then this one was Maybelline, which I love the Maybelline City mini palettes, but look at how similar all these colors are. Like, are you kidding me? It's like two of the exact same. You have three shadows in here. Like drugstore, we see what you're trying to do. Anyway, then I came across this Wet n Wild palette that I thought was so pretty. Um, we have these really beautiful shimmery shades. We've got like shimmery shades that are 
super nice, like really, really, really reflective. Then we have some more like um, satiny shades, which are a little bit softer. And then we've got obviously the matte, which is really nice. So highly recommend this one. Uh, this is what we're gonna be using today. This is the Lights Off palette. So I'm gonna start with this color, this like kind of suede color. And I'm gonna hung Van Gogh style this. So looking down, I'm going to start working this into like just above my crease. So I really wanna push this eye socket back. And I'm gonna focus on building that up first. Then I'm turning my brush the fat way and then just kind of like buffing that into that bronzer. Then I'm gonna grab this nice warm brown reddish brown on that same brush and build it up further. So same area, keeping it a little bit tighter. I'm gonna drag that a little bit down onto the low outer part of the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back in with a swirl of my bronzer and bronze around those edges just to soften the outer part. And then whatever is left over on that Wet n Wild brush, I'm just going to buff all over the lid. So I'm not adding any more product. I'm just kind of blending whatever's like on that brush and also kind of mixing what's already like around it in my crease onto the lid. So it creates this almost naked, but kind of like soft finish to the eye. So it doesn't look naked, it looks finished but it's kind of like almost like um, negative space, you know? For my lower lash line, I'm using this Kai brush. I'm gonna pick up the warm brown and I'm gonna buff that really tight to the lower lash line, taking it just about all the way in. And I'm slowly blending it down a little bit, just softening it into that bronzer. All right, and then for my inner corner, I'm gonna use this really pretty, just like soft shimmery vanilla color. All right, for my highlight, I'm gonna mix these two, lots of Wet n Wild products. I'm gonna mix Golden Flower Crown and Blossom Glow from Wet n Wild. And I'm gonna hit my cheekbones and my brow bones. All right, and my brows have not changed, you guys. I'm gonna set them with my Pears Soap using this e.l.f. spoolie, and then finish them off with my NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in Taupe. All right, I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Wet n Wild Lash Curler, and then apply a few coats of CoverGirl Lash Blast Waterproof Mascara. All right, guys, and then I wanna finish off my lips, so I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Gone Grage Lip Liner, which is my fave. I don't care what season it is. And I'm using this to add a little shape and contour to the lips. And then I'm gonna go in, once again, with Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in reach high. All right guys, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I've really been loving this kind of like almost naked eye. It looks like finished, but also a little bit undone. It's just kind of like mysterious a little bit. Highly recommend all of the products that I used. The finish is like this really beautiful kind of like satin natural finish. So it's perfect for fall, it's perfect for winter, but it isn't going to dry out your skin. You know, it's a really nice mixture of cool and warm tones. What's happening out there? It's a nice combination of warm and cool tones. So you can kind of like build them up or tone them down, make them more warm, make them more cool tone, depending on like what works for you. And yeah, that's basically that, man. I like it. It's very pretty. It's super quick. Uh, I know it seems like a lot of steps, but I do makeup. I don't, you know what I mean? Makeup's what I do, so there's gonna be quite a few steps. If you're brand new to makeup or if you are a beginner and you want something for that, like a very specific request, just let me know. Uh, yeah, let me know if you wanna see more fall looks. That palette was fun, man. I kinda wanna play with those shimmers. I wanted to keep it a little bit more matte today, but you let me know, you know? I feel like it needs a few more go-arounds. Ooh, maybe with a wing. Ooh, these would actually be really nice for New Year's Eve. You know? Wow, I just like want to prolong this for some reason. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any specific product or video requests, and I'll see you soon. Bye.